Yo, what's up, MG fam? It's your boy McGruff, and we're back, baby, back with the Detroit Lions rebuild here on Madden 25. So we're going up against the Titans this game. The Titans, they are currently sporting a four and six record, and we are six and four, and we're tied for the number one spot in our division with the Vikings. So Stafford has to come out this game, man, and prove to us once again that he's the he's the for sure thing at quarterback. And the first attempt, it's not good. Galladay dropped that one, but he put it on the money. But that time, going to my boy C.D. Lamb, way, way in front of him. So third and ten, he's going to get it to the tight end. That one was a pretty good pass, but not enough room to get the first down. So we'll get to see Ryan Tannehill today. You know, he's more of a running quarterback, and he has a pretty good running back in Derrick Henry. You can see getting six yards there on the first carry. So Tannehill will come out of the gun this time, and he... Well, a temper pass, but whoa, that would hit my DB in the head, yo. He should have intercepted anyway. So third and four, we got a chance to get our first stop this game. And Tannehill will have some time to throw it. And almost an interception for my boy Darius Slay, but he dropped that one. And uh, Titans, again in the first quarter, will get another go at it. And they're going to try to keep this ball on the ground on this drive. And you can see Derrick Henry, man, is continuing to get in six yards a pop. And I thought he was going to hand that one off, but he will get it to his tight end, Julian Thomas, and that will be a first down. So having two great tight ends, Thomas and Walker, he has a he has a great group of safety valves, man. He got a chance to drop it off to the running back out of the backfield, and he can get it to those two big tight ends. So another first down there, and he's going to hand that thing off to Derrick Henry. Look at that pancake block. You can see it. And Derrick Henry will go up the gut for a first down. So out of the gun, he has the young boy in there. And it's going to be a counter play. And look how quick he is. And he is moving. Made one guy miss. Still got some blockers in front of him. But we finally take him down. And I think that's going to be a face mask. But we were at least able to stop him from getting a touchdown. And we're on him that time. Second and goal here. Let's see if they give it to the big boy in the backfield. They will talk it to him. And... My boy Darius Slay, man. Two big plays to start this game. And Tannehill out of the gun once again. Gets that one to the young boy at running back. And we push him out of bounds. So fourth and goal. They want, they want to settle for a field goal. And I believe this one's going to be a chip shot. And it is. And they will move on with a 3-0 lead. So our offense still having a tough time in the first quarter. These guys are continuously... Controlling the clock, giving it to that big bruiser out of the backfield in Derrick Henry, and he goes up the gut once again for a first down. And that I can say is three carries in a row. And why not give that boy the ball if he's going to run like that one? And my boy Chase Young is down, down with an injury. Seems like every game that kid get injured, man. He has a, a great upside, but those injuries kind of got me scratching my head. So it's going to be 35. He's going to drop back and pass it. I thought he was going to give it to the running back. And he breaks a tackle. The little wide receiver. And Tannehill was not able to get that first down. But look at my boy Chase Young. A dislocated shoulder. He will not be able to return for this game. So we're going to have to, you know, step up on defense to, you know, fill his absence. But the field goal was good that time. So we're finally back on the field offensively. We got something going this drive. And you can see my boy KJ. KJ making a miss. Moving. And gets us the first down. So Stafford out of the gun once again. He feels the pressure, but he finds Amendola. That's what I'm talking about. He has the vision. He has the upside to be the best quarterback in the NFC. And he has an arm, but my goodness, the mistakes, man. The mistakes are killing us. How can we come back from that? We're down 6 to 0, and we're going to just get the ball back to the offense. And we got Tannehill with that short arm pass, and he finds a wide out, but he runs out of bounds. Man, that was the ugliest motion. I mean, throwing motion I've seen in a long time, but he got it out there to his boy. And another completed pass to the running back, and he will only get two yards that time. And Tannehill with it once again. Guns that one, and whoa, whoa, almost a big catch. But we were able to jar that one loose. So 20 plus seconds left. Tannehill will take a shot. Can we get a pick this time? And he's he's putting the ball up there to his receivers. But they're not bringing it down. And it's an injury to number 82 there. So they're going to settle for another field goal. And we will go down 9-0 to zero in the first half. 
going into halftime, man, one thing for sure, we got to get this running game going. Passing game, we got to put the ball in the air. That defense for the Titans has been playing pretty well. And the Titans, they got 100 yards passing and rushing. And you can see Tannehill will come out here and try to run the ball. And it's not going to be successful. My boy Chauncey Rivers in there for Chase Young. He got that guy injured. So Mariota is in there. He's a backup quarterback for the Titans, but he is probably one of the best backups in the league. And Mariota drops back. He's rolling. And we get a fumble, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Pick that thing up and go the other way. And we finally get on the board by the way of a defensive score. So now the score is seven to nine. We're down by two, and they're gonna continue to give it to that big bruiser, man. You know Derrick Henry, five yards is easy for that dude. He wake up out of his sleep and get five yards, and that's another five plus. Oh, he turned that one into a big one. Can we get the big boy? He's running, and my boy Coleman able to pull him down. Coleman has some jets, yo. Can you tell? He chased down two running backs in this game alone and you can tell that guy has at least four three speed so Ebner the young boy out of the backfield he's getting some carries here now that Derrick Henry is on the bench and look at Mariota Mariota boy the poise the poise at the quarterback position able to get it to the fullback or running back I believe he's a fullback fowler and he gets the touchdown man. so we're down we're down by two scores right now and we need to get something going and my boy KJ came out there whoo let him get one more missed tackle. That would have been a touchdown. So you can see Jeff Driscoll is in here right now. Matthew Stafford went down with an injury. And Driscoll throwing across his body. Something you don't want to do as a quarterback. And he gets the first down. And my boy Galladay got injured on that one play. Hey. But he put his body on the line for the first down. And Driscoll off the play action. Throws it across the middle. And Amendola, man. The spectacular catch for that kid is immaculate. And he got us another big first down. So KJ. All right. Running off tackle. Oh, he ran back up into the trash. He would have kept it wide. We would have got a first down. So, Galladay, partial groin tear. Two big injuries on our team this game. And he's out for a few games probably. And look at Driscoll. Getting into the running back. Driscoll is moving his offense. Better than Stafford, man. Better than Stafford. Driscoll came out here. And he's getting this thing going. So, Driscoll has the backfield all to himself right here. You know he's going to have to gun it. So, Driscoll. All right. Rolling out of the pocket. Takes a shot. Oh. I thought it was going to be an interception, but it is an incomplete pass. Should have been pass interference. So, he's going to hand that thing off to KJ this time. KJ breaks a tackle, and can we get that first down? No, it's going to be third and one, and we're going to go up the gut. We're 2-8 on third down, but we believe in KJ, and I believe he got enough. And, yes, he does get enough for the first down. So, it's first and goal. We're going to give it right back to KJ, and you better get out of the way, boy. You already know what time it is. Let's go, Driscoll. That's how you run an offense. I don't know what Stafford was doing in front of the crowd, but we got it going here. So, we got 4 for 9 for these guys here early in the fourth quarter, and we got a kickoff return going, baby. You already know what time it is. Look at him. Breaking out of it. Look at him. You know he got those jets. That acceleration from my boy, my boy. Oh, he took a hard hit, and it's a fumble, but my boy, my boy Lynch able to pick that one up and saved us, baby. Saved us. So Driscoll, he got fly routes, and he's taking a chance. C.D. Lamb. Oh, man. Put a little bit more on it, my boy Driscoll. At least put it out of the range of the defense. They get the interception there, but they're not able to get anything on the board. And we got another chance at it. And my boy KJ. KJ got some room. And can he get the touchdown? KJ will juke, but can't get away from the DB. So that's five receptions from the boy out of the backfield. And we're going to give it to the young boy. My boy McCray giving us at least four yards on that. So it's going to be 36. And we got some hitch routes on the outside. See what my boy just can create. Oh, man, he takes a big hit. A big hit by Geno Hayes. So we're going to kick a field goal. It's going to be three points for us, which will give us the lead. And it's good, baby. So 17 to 16. We got it going here. So the Titans have a shot at getting at least three points on the board here. Let's see if we can get a stop. So Tannehill gives it to the young boy to the backfield. Ooh, big hit. That's what I'm talking about. So Ebner is the feature back on this drive. They're trying to key on him, trying to get him involved. And they're going to give it to him up the gut, which was a great call because it gave him the first down. Ebner is out there moving it. So they got another young boy back there running back. I don't know what happened to Henry. Henry probably getting a break right now until the red zone. And they get that pass to the Wallace kid. And Mariota out here moving the chains too. They got rid of Tannehill. Tannehill wasn't doing it for him this second half. And Mariota. That was an incomplete pass, but 
And that was a nice one, though. Should have got it to him a little earlier. So 30 inches. Ebner is in the back for He's not going to hand it out to him. And look at Mariota. Ooh, way off target, buddy. So it's fourth and inches. And they're not going to go for it? I don't trust him. I don't trust him. Let's see what they got here. He will punt it. What a dumb call by the offensive coordinator. You should have asked the head coach, let me go for it. You have one of the best running backs in the league. You're not going to give him the ball on fourth and inches. So you know what we about to do, give it to KJ and KJ. He don't have much energy left, but he gives us a big first down there. A big first down, and we're going to continue to hand the ball off. We got the young boy McCray back there, and he gets to the edge, cuts it up. Oh. It was a hard hit. I thought he was going to fumble that one. So it's second and six. One minute and 30 seconds left. And look at KJ. You let him get any room out to the edge, he's going, baby. That's what I'm talking about. So we're going back with it once again. Give it to him. Run the clock. And that's what I'm talking about. We're chewing it, baby. Chewing that clock. We got it in our mouth, and we're chewing it. So we're going to sit on it here. The victory formation, all we was waiting on, baby. So he would get on the knee, and we would go out of here with a victory. Our fans will see another W in our win column, and that's what I'm talking about. 17 to 16, not a beautiful game. It was pretty ugly, but in the NFL, you take them how you can get them, bro. You take them how you can get them. So Marcus Cooper is the player of the game. He has one touchdown. He picked up that form of recovery, and that changed the game for us. And our offense had a hard time, man. We only accumulated 214 total yards, 378 on their side. Our running game picked up in the second half, but the passing game was still lackluster. And we were able to get multiple scores in the second half. We scored all our points in the third and fourth quarter, so the halftime adjustments helped us a lot. So Driscoll came in to replace Matthew Stafford, who was having a tough game. Driscoll only threw the ball eight times, completed half of them, 74 yards. That's it, bro. That's all he gave us. But one thing he didn't do was fumble the ball. And that's all we asked for. Secure the ball, he threw one interception, but Stafford threw two. <laughs> that was way too many. Stafford have great games. And then he have a bad game. The way he's going this season, I'm not sure if we're going to bring him back next year. I think we may look to trade him, man, with some great quarterbacks coming up into this draft. And I believe Trevor Lawrence is looking pretty good right now. So KJ had a pretty good game on the ground, pretty good game through the air. He was our top receiver, five receptions, 67 yards. He gave us some big plays. And on the defensive side of the ball, bar two, nine tackles, man, nine total tackles. And two tackle for loss for my boy Darius Slay. Only one sack for this whole game, man. Chase Young would have been in there. We would have got like two or three. But Bar 2 gave us one sack, man. And that's all we asked for, man. My boy Darius Slay, another interception to add to his interceptions this year. And we moving it. We doing pretty well for ourselves. And I appreciate you guys for watching this video. We're currently 7-4, and four, man. We got playoff hopes. All we got to do is win three more games. I believe we will be a lot. We're trying to get one of those top seeds and go up against, you know, one of those bum teams so we can get an easier path to the Super Bowl because last year we made it to the Super Bowl but it was a rough one though it was a rough one but I believe we got it in us this year so don't forget to subscribe to the channel hit that like button and notification bell leave the comments in the comment section and holler at your boy McGruff let's get it baby